sphere of influence is is the goal, right? I mean, we all want to get to the point in real estate business where we have enough sphere of influence, we have a large enough database that referrals just walk in the door. We can take the cream of the crop listings and work with who we want and do the listings we want. So let's talk about that because because this is this is your your bread and butter, right? This is what you do is teaching agents to be successful here. So let's dive into that um, and talk about why sphere of influence is is such a, in fact, let me ask this question. Why is sphere of influence so overlooked by many agents? Let me ask that question. Yeah, I think there's a couple of reasons. And I just want to say too, if, if you're watching this and you don't have a sphere or past clients because you're new to the business, just like me, this is still going to help you because you can use this strategy for expired prospecting for, for sale by owners as well uh, as part of your follow-up sequence. So this will be highly valuable, valuable to um, those of you watching as well. But I think people overlook it um, for a couple of reasons. Maybe they don't have it. So they're thinking, well, once I have 50 past clients, 100 past clients, once I have 100 people or 200 people in my sphere database, then I'll start marketing to them. So they always wait until they have this big database that they can market to. And it's it can be a struggle getting there if you don't start marketing, marketing to those people uh, when it's a, a small group. And then the other part of it is I think they're afraid. You know, I think you know, just my friends in the business and coaching a lot of agents is a lot of people would rather just cold call a stranger, talk to a stranger at Starbucks, talk to them about real estate than actually calling their friend and saying, hey, I don't know if you remember, but I'm in real estate or hey, I just got into real estate or hey, you know, I helped you buy a house last year. Do you know anyone else looking to buy ourselves? So I think most of it, quite frankly, is just that they're afraid to. Um, and I get it. And so was I until I developed and, and learn the system, you know, like you said, don't reinvent the wheel. So most of the stuff that, that I teach now is just stuff, all the best things that I learned from all my coaches, you know, and, and kind of put my own twist on it and, and made it better. And I think that's what the entire coaching industry is. You know, it's, it's everybody else standing on the shoulders of giants. So, um, so I think the first step to the, the, the key to this whole puzzle is truly helping agents get over that fear of reaching out to their sphere that fear of reaching out to their past clients. So how do you do that? So when, when you look at like the overall philosophy of, of sphere marketing, past client marketing, is I like to think of it as my VIP program. And it has a few key elements that makes it very easy to stay in contact because you're always adding value. You know, I, I've been in different courses and classes where they teach you just to call up your past clients and say, hey, it's AJ, I'm just calling you because I wanted to let you know that I'm in real estate you know, a little bit of small talk, and then you just end it with, who do you know looking to buy or sell? I'm sure that's highly effective, but it feels like you're just taking and you're not adding value. So a lot of agents get stuck and never make the calls. But when you can kind of flip the script and always add value when you're reaching out to these people, it makes it a lot easier and it makes it fun. So it's, it's all built around adding value. So how can you do that? And what I'm going to teach today, I don't care if you have 10 people or a thousand people, you can still do this. So it's built on two client giveaways and two client appreciation parties. I like to call them VIP parties because if you don't have a lot of clients, you can't really have a client appreciation party, right? But you can have a VIP party. So that kind of takes away that limiting belief of why you can't be doing this. Like uh, so the giveaways, you know, it's, it's really simple. And when I first got into real estate, I thought it was kind of cheesy, quite frankly, but your clients love it and it's a lot of fun. So giving away Thanksgiving Day pies at Thanksgiving, Valentine's chocolates in uh, the winter. So you kind of spread those out really nicely. And then you have a spring client appreciation party and a fall client appreciation party. So what you're able to do is you're able to take all your marketing, all your calls, all your text messages and kind of surround uh, those events with it. So for example um let me pull up my my schedule here and this can get a little complicated if you don't break it down in a google spreadsheet um so you want to actually have this pre-planned for the entire year so you're going to send uh postcards you're going to text your clients you're going to call your clients and you're going to do emails preferably video emails so let's just start with the events though what's cool about the events is that even if they can't make it or even if they don't want to pick up a pie or, or have you deliver a pie because you can do both, you still get credit just for asking them. So the postcards, you're going to have 12 postcards that go out once a month. And you want to set this up at the beginning of the year so it's just on autopilot. 
because as real estate agents, we get super busy. So if, 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 if it was ever up to me to get these out on a regular basis, I would have no marketing plan. And for about two years, I did have no marketing plan because I was just too busy selling real estate. So you want to have it set up. You want to have this all um, as much on autopilot as possible. So 12 monthly postcards, uh, then an extra postcard around each of your four events. So a total of 16 postcards. So that's 16 touches right there. And uh, and you call. So say it's um, the spring party coming up. Say it's in May. You call ahead of time and you just follow up the postcard that just went out. Hey, it's AJ. Not sure if you saw the postcard. Uh, we sent it out last week, but we're having a client appreciation party. I did one at a local zoo before. It was really awesome. We had to play with monkeys and all, do all this cool stuff. And we just had a blast. So I'm not sure if you saw the postcard. Did you get it? Okay, great. You did get it. Awesome. Do you think you'll be able to make it? Okay, great. You can. How many are coming? Awesome. Got you down. Um, how's everything else going? Okay, great to hear. Just want to let you know my business is built on referrals. If you ever nobody of anybody looking to buy or sell, please let me know. So you're still reminding them, hey, like keep me in mind for other people, but you're, you're reaching out adding value. So that's 16 touches with the postcards. And then phone calls. I like to do a quarterly phone call, just touching base. Hey, how's it going? Anything I can do to help? You know, and you can help by just reminding them, hey, if you need you know, a contractor to renovate your kitchen, if you need a yard guy, like agents have so many different contacts that are valuable to, to, to homeowners. So just remind them, hey, if you need any help with anything, give them some examples of what you can help with, plumber, whatever, just let me know. And then you end it with, hey, if you know anyone looking to buy or sell, let me know. So those are quarterly calls, and then you have your four calls, inviting them to the, the, the pies or the, uh, the the appreciation parties. So there's a total of eight calls, and then you got your emails going out every two weeks. You line them up to where you're adding either value or inviting them to a party or to a giveaway, and then um, text. So then you just sprinkle in text messages in between the phone calls, and you have this, this touch program that can be anywhere from, say, 50 touches to 60 touches a year. And I mean, that's like lights out. And when you're doing it in a way that doesn't feel like invasive to your clients or doesn't feel like you're always taking, like I know some people right now are thinking, wow, that's a lot of touches. I, I could never do that much. I'd be bothering them. But you're really not because you're just adding value and you're keeping them up to date on things. Like your emails going out are, are market updates. They're spring cleaning tips. And you just got to remember like every single year, we're living in a society that gets busier and busier and busier and we're getting hit by different social media channels, different news channels, you know, kids, work, all these different things. They probably see like a quarter of the stuff you put out. Everything else gets lost. That's why you need to be so um, aggressive, I guess you could say, with this type of marketing. So, so that's the Sphere program.